Hey, what's up guys? This is Ray with SD Custom Footwear. And as promised, I'm gonna make some videos showing you guys, you know, some tips and tricks, tutorials on pattern making, lasting, and all that. But for now, I wanted to show you guys what you guys get with the paper patterns and kind of how to use them and uh, the way I go about it. So when you order a paper pattern, you're gonna get an envelope that looks like this, all right? This is a Jordan 1 low size 13. All right, let's open it up. And these are all pre-cut on laser using a poster board. All right, so you're gonna get a couple stickers here. You're gonna get all the patterns. It includes all the liners, the uppers, reinforcement pieces, counters, uh, heel counter, toe puff, and all the foams. All right, now I do include an extra foam on the back. Uh, liner foam. It's a very thin foam. Let me see if I can get a piece for you guys. It's a very thin foam, about an eighth of an inch. All right. And I just like to add this little extra foam on the back liner, so you get a little more of a you know luxury kind of quality feel to it. So. This is optional, this liner foam. It's optional, but I like to include it. It's just it's a little bit more comfortable. Get more of that uh, luxury feel, all right? So we got the liner foam, and we got the tongue foam. First of all, let's separate them all, all right? So let's get all the foams together. This is what I do first. When I get my patterns, let's separate them all. We got foams and uppers. All right, so these foams, tongue, upper, heel counter, reinforcement pieces, Medial eye stay, all right, uppers, toe puff, reinforcements, collar foam, all right, this is a piece that uh, goes right here on the collar. It's a little bit thicker than, uh, you know, the liner foam, and uh, it's probably the thickest one we use on it, so that's the collar foam. It'll go there. And you got your liners. This is your main liner on the back. Um, more uppers, quarter panel, medial side. Now, um, you can tell the medial side because it has a notch right there. All right, you guys see that notch? That's the medial side, which is, think medial, think middle. So if it's a left foot, it's gonna be right here. If it was, uh, you know, the right foot, it'd be on the middle side. So. Whenever you see medial, think middle, center side, all right? The vamp. Now, depending if you order uh, acrylic or paper, these, um, these uh, holes will be a little bit bigger on the acrylic, and that's because you can't fit the pen through the holes when you're marking the leather. So, if you ordered acrylic, all these registration marks, all these holes are gonna be a little bit thicker, but don't worry, it's just so that you can get your pen in there. And I kind of centered them all so that they're all going to be on the same location. Even though they're bigger, they're not going to be off center. All right. So uppers, heel tab, swoosh, eye stay. Now the eye stay is going to be the same for all four sides. So one of these will be all you need. Um, collar. Quarter panel, lateral side. Eye stay, lateral side. Tongue liner, all right? Now this is an option. Uh, some people, they like to cut this here and do it in two separate parts, do the tongue separately. Uh, depending on, you know, what school you go to or what who you learned with, they'll do this differently. Um, I like to do it uh, all in one, one piece. Um, I think it looks looks nice and it saves some time and uh, it's a toe liner and tongue liner. Lace holder. Now again, this is another option for you guys. If you're doing the tongue, you have the option of just doing a couple of slits down here or putting this lace holder, folding it over. All right, so this is another option. Also the tongue. When I, what I The patterns I sell, most of them, most of them are gonna have a flip tongue. When you see this here, this mark here, 
to this little notch. That's going to be for you to go over and stitch up to up to that notch there. So from here, you're going to stitch up and over from here, and then finish over here, and then you're going to flip it inside out. You know what I mean? So that's what when you see these notches here, and you see this here, that's what that's for. That's a flip tongue. All right. So different ways of doing it. I like to flip my tongues, especially in the classes. It's a lot easier um, for beginners. And uh, I mean, it doesn't look bad. This tongue is flipped. So see how it's flipped only up to here. Can you see that? And then this is just stitched, close, close it up on the sides. All right, so that's a flip tongue. And the mud guard, outer, and the heel. Now some of these heels, yeah, if you bought patterns with me before, you notice some of them have a little uh, cut out here. And that's just so that when you last them, it'll create a rounded edge. So if you have a V shape here and you stitch that together, it'll round this off a little bit more. All right, that's just to help you guys last. That's another option for you guys, but. All right, so there we go. We got them separated. We got um, my foam. I knew there were three pieces of foam. So we got all our uppers, we got our two liner pieces, and most of the time it'll be two or three liner pieces if we do the tongue separate, but most of the time two liner pieces, um, three foam pieces, and two reinforcements, the toe puff and the heel. All right, so those are, those are all the pieces you'll get. Um, yep, I think that's it. Uh, I'll go over, I'm going to go over uh, how to use some of these, how to start assembling the shoe uh, later. But for now, I just wanted to give you guys a little idea of what you get with my, um, with my paper patterns. All right. Thanks.